Hello everyone! The video you are all been waiting for. Today's video is going to be the intensive skincare routine that I like to do on myself from time to time. I feel like it's very important, especially because I have dry skin and I'm prone to acne and I have blackheads. Go over my intensive skincare and show you guys the tools and the products that I use to help out with my skin. Um, I'm really, really, really excited about this video. I get comments constantly about my skincare and what do I use and what do I do. So here's the video for you guys. Before I go ahead and start off with my routine, if you are new here to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and taking your time to watch my video. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I would love to have you guys on the light family that I have here on my channel. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow my step-by-step -step skincare routine, please keep on watching. Alrighty, let's get into the details and the depth in cleaning my skin. I try to do this as much as I can, but most of the time I don't have time to do this. And uh, when I do is that when I really feel that my skin really needs a cleanup, I don't always go to facials. I would want to go, always go get myself pampered and get a facial but I don't. Um, I just don't have the time for that, unfortunately. So I like to do it on myself, um, especially when COVID hit. I purchased a lot of things from Amazon, so I will try to link um, all the tools and and products in the description box down below with the links like that it could help you guys out if you want to purchase any of these tools and if you like to pamper yourself at home and if you don't like to really go to facials or you have like an iffy situation about facials um, then this is perfect for you if you want to do this at home so before i start anything and show you tools and all of that goodness i like to start off with a face that looks like this i um do like to shave my face as you guys all know this is a very very popular tool i will leave these in the, in the amazon Probably this is not from Amazon, which I do need to get some new ones, but this is basically pretty new and I like to disinfect them with some alcohol wipes just to make sure everything is okay. I would recommend these not to always use them because you know it's always it's kind of like a blade, right? So I prefer to always try to use a fresh one. Now this is my last one and I do need to purchase some more. I will leave ones in the description box down below from Amazon if you want to get them. So I like to use that. Then I like to use um, like a facial oil on my face. Now I have a lot of oils. Some of them are good, some of them are not, but not good. But honestly, I don't really care about the oil that I use uh, because I will be scraping it off anyway. This is just going to help me shave and have a smoother finish like that. I don't really irritate my skin. A lot of people use, I don't know, the ordinary oils or... Uh, what have you, but I'm just gonna use a random oil that I have here This one's from dr. Andrew looks like that. I will try to find it below but like I said if if I don't know if this is um, This is a barrier boosting sensual oil is sensual oil. Can I put that on my face following your serum warm two drops and palms and have and yeah Exactly. I can use this on face. I was like sensual oil <laughs> I'm like, I've used this on my face and then I just didn't realize. I thought sensual oil was just like home. <laughs> home sensual oil, but apparently not. But yeah, so I'm using this one. Uh, you can use anything. Honestly, I see a lot of people using coconut oil. People using, I don't know, castor oil. Um, they also use Moroccan oil, which I do have one right here. It's actually from Morocco. Uh, but you know use what you have um so th again this is just an oil that i like to put on my face to get kind of like a, a smoother shaving process for me so i just add this i warm it in my hands and i just go ahead and i pat it on my skin so i like to put a generous amount of the oil on my face just because i don't like to feel that my skin is dry while I'm doing this process is one of the things that I really, really hate. And I just hate the feeling of 
dry skin in general so yeah so now my skin looks like that you know it has like a nice little glow hue to it i'm just gonna let it sit for a couple of seconds so my skin could really absorb it i just take my little shaver and i start scraping the hairs off my skin Alrighty, so i zoomed you in a little bit now i i am having a little bit of um dry skin lately um not so much breakouts to be honest but um some blackheads especially on my nose area if you guys know a remedy for blackheads let me know in the comments down below i'm taking anything honestly at this point i'm kind of like giving up on so many products that i've used in the past for blackheads and i'm not getting any effect to be honest and it's just it's just ugh. It's annoying, uh, but yeah, any remedy you have, leave it in the comments down below and I will um, try to find a remedy that you guys recommend. Sorry, my nose just turned red right here. One thing about me um, is that I hate blackheads and I hate pimples. So when I see one, I need to take it off. I don't know, it's like it's something that satisfies me. It makes me happy when I do that. I know it sounds disgusting because a lot of people love to see pimple popping stuff, which I'm one of those people but anyways um, I'm not gonna go into details because a lot of people might hate that <laughs> kind of subject which I totally get so now my skin is saturated a little bit with the oil I just like to um, make sure that I don't get my hair some people shave all this part off like this here I don't really I just like to shave a little bit below it like right here and I go down. Now I might not have too much hairs. I'm somebody who kind of not always does it, but I do it from time to time because I just don't like to have like a hairy situation. I don't know if you guys could see anything that came out, but I know this is disgusting, but I just want to show you guys what came out. But why do I really like this process too? It's not because it's only removing hairs, but it's also helping to exfoliate your face at the same time. So it also removes dead cells if you have any on your face. And as you can see, my face is quite transparent, especially like around the winter time. You definitely see like a lot of veining, which is something I've had when I was younger. And I'm going to continue having it for like the rest of my life. I did start treatments regarding that. It helped a little bit. You know, I have to say that, but then I feel like they're kind of like back because I am somebody that likes spicy food. It depends what kind of spicy food and that apparently those little veining trigger that when you eat spicy food for some reason. But, you know, for me, food always comes first. <laughs> so if I'm hungry and I need something spicy or I'm craving like, I don't know, a spicy noodle, soup i'm gonna have it i don't care so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and also do my forehead so i don't really have much but this is kind of like a process that i prefer to do just so i can have smoother and a better effect when i'm doing my skincare routine so i do have a lot more of mainly more dry skin that is on my scraper. I can show you this, it looks quite nasty. I also pass it on my nose, but more in the gentle form, because I don't want to irritate my skin either. You guys could see that I am suffering with a lot of dry skin right now. This weather that we're having, which is winter, after I finish shaving my face, I like to go ahead and tone my face. Even though I'll be doing other steps, you'll be like, but you don't really need to tone. Again, this is a mental thing in my head that I need to clean off what I did on my face. So the toner that I'm using, I'm using the glycol acid toner. Now, it is strong when you shave your face you want something a little bit more gentle but at the moment that is what i have oh i also have my Guerlain one i have this one um so if you have this one you can go ahead and use it but um i just use the my toning solution this one right here the glycol because i feel like it, it helps with my blackheads a lot of people have different reactions a lot of a lot of people have different point of view when it comes to toners and what kind of toners just use whatever works with you so i just put it on a cotton pad and i go all over my face so for me it 
doesn't really burn that much but if you have sensitive skin and you're doing this process and you're using this kind of toner then you might feel a little bit of like a burning sensation but for me to be honest I don't really feel that kind of um, feeling I apologize about my hair <laughs> it's good it's about to get messier because I'm going to be using a facial vapor now I'm just gonna turn it on and it looks like that this is probably one of my favorite tools I have a lot of tools but this is one of my favorite that I use quite often I'm gonna try to find the same one and link it below in the description everything that all the tools that I have here is uh, mainly from Amazon but um, I'll try to find something a bit why isn't this getting cleaned? Sorry. OCD moment. But again, like I was saying, I'm going to try to find the same one and link it down below for you guys. Even Costco has them. Recently for the holidays, you can get your hand on one. It's amazing. And I don't know if you guys could see it, but I'll put it against my black clothing. And you can see that vapor coming out. Now, this is a hot vapor, so you need to be careful. Put it on a surface that, you know, it's easy for you not to burn yourself. And also, if you have a towel, you can put it under, or like, put a towel under it. And it also comes with this. I'm going to keep it under my face while it's, like, vaping my face. This is going to help open up all the pores so you can go ahead and really clean after with another tool that I'm gonna show you now this comes with this little baby right here it's like a small little cup and it even says it right here please do not add more than 50 milliliters of water which is literally till here trust me please do that at first when I got this I got really excited so I ended up filling it twice without <laughs> it's written like clearly right here but I was too excited and I filled it twice and um, I burnt myself. First of all, water starts spitting out of it. So you just need to add exactly the amount that they're telling you. And once it's turned off, then you can go ahead and move on to cleaning your face. Now I love it because this one here is so soothing. The sound that it makes. Sometimes I like to put like spa music in the background just to kind of really put me in the mood. But um, I absolutely love this thing so much. I don't know if you guys could see the little uh, vapes here. And you can feel it is hot on the face. It's like a nice warm sensation. Like I said, this is going to help open up the pores. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this for a couple of um, minutes until it is over. And I'll be back to show you the second tool that I like to use. It's me popping up right here. This is not done. This is still vaping my face. But before I go ahead and jump into the other tools that I have, I forgot to show you a small little tool if you have it. I mean, mine comes in a little pack like that. I just use this little metal tool right here. It also has a poker at the end. I always sanitize this and clean this all the time. So in the meantime, while I'm vaping and while my pores are opening up, I tend to notice some little blackheads here and there. I like to use this to kind of like take them off instead of using my nails even though I'm somebody who is always triggered and always uses her nails to kind of pop which is not really a good thing um, if you have this tool then um, I highly highly recommend you um, taking the stool instead and just kind of cleaning up all the pores so I have one right here that I am noticing and I just go and I squeeze it a little bit and it comes right off it, it's much easier it's much easier when you have this on your face and it's pore so it kind of comes out really really easy and it's so satisfying alrighty this stopped and my face kind of dried off a little bit which is exactly what I want for the next tool now this is the tool that I purchased recently and I've been obsessed with it now this one here is called facial skin scrubber which is honestly I used it I think twice right now and I love it so much so you have a cleaning option you also have a lifting option and you also have eye on plus and eye on minus which i'm not really sure what these two are uh, what's eye on plus eye on minus do you guys know if you do please let me know in the comments this comes in two colors so they have it in white and in pink so it basically looks like this i just sanitized it as well so it's pretty clean i know it might have marks but this is marks of the rubbing alcohol but um, i like to start it so the way i started is that i press on and it makes a little light here and a little sound and then I press it once
All right, so that is done. I like to, I'm gonna be cleaning it off with some rubbing alcohol and sanitizing it as well. So now my face looks like that. You see like the redness calm down a little bit when I used it for the lifting part. Now, I don't like to irritate my skin more than that. I think it had enough. I need to go get another tool that I actually have in my washroom that is also one of my favorites. So I'll go ahead and grab it and I'll be right back. Alrighty, after I do all of that, I let my skin just settle down a little bit and just relax a tiny bit. Now I move on into the more in-depth blackheads to really like clean up and suck everything off. And this is the one that I use. You guys probably all know this product right here. I honestly don't really know the exact name of this, but if you um, if you put Amazon like a blackhead. Um, I don't know a sucking machine or anything like that then you will definitely uh, Find it on uh, on Amazon this one here I like to use it when I come out of the shower and this one. I really like it I really hope that I can find you guys the same one because it has a blue light in the back right here That you can light up to kind of calm the skin which I will show you in a moment So I'm gonna go ahead and re-vaporize my face just to kind of reopen my my pores a little bit So I filled up this with a little bit of water not so much I just want to get my face to like reopen the pores so I can go in and really remove all the blackheads, especially around the nose area and the chin area because that is that is where I, I suffer a lot with blackheads. Alrighty, this is still going on. I'm not sure if you guys can see the vape uh, going on right here. It's a little bit of vapor going on, but I did turn it off. Now I'm going to take this machine and this one has different levels. So you have soft, normal and strong. I honestly like to go strong because I feel like it works best. And I just go over my nose and I just go and I really suck all the blackheads out. And I feel like it does really, really work. So this is probably, again, I'm just showing you guys my top favorite tools that I've used. And I feel like they really make a huge difference. No, please don't die on me. I need you. I need to charge it. Fantastic. But you guys could see right here, it removed some junk from my face and that's why I love it so much so I'm gonna go ahead and charge this and I'll be right back alrighty now I feel my face is nice and clean I like to go ahead and add a mask on just to really kind of detox this is from Cola D and this is uh, the mask intense detox and it looks like that I got this from Sephora this is gonna really help to kind of really detox what's inside my pores bring it all out and also I find that it really helps my skin to smooth out a little bit so I like to add it with this little spatula here and I kind of put it all over my face and then once it's dried I just go ahead and wash it out it kind of looks like my skin tone which is really weird but um, it does have like that pink hue to it um, the smell of it I'm not really a big fan of the smell I mean it's very full like very flowery and I don't really like flower scents in products so I'm gonna let that dry as you guys can see here it's starting to dry off a little bit I like to keep it on for a couple of minutes I think it takes about complete dry on I think it takes about maybe five to six minutes it depends on the layer and how thick you put it on I will show you how it looks like when it's dried because you can see kind of like my pores and like it kind of rejected whatever is in my pores and I just like to wash that off after with a little bit of a warm water and then uh, rinse my face with cold water so I let that set let it dry and I'll be back to show you guys the next steps okay so this is almost dried off I have little spots here and there that still need some time to dry but in the meantime I just want to show you guys how this looks like look at all of these oils that is coming out of the pores that I have this is why I really like this mask because it really removes everything it's kind of like all over I have it on my nose I have it also on my forehead these like little pores that you don't really tend to see but this mask tends to just take it all off as soon as this little spot here dries off a little bit more and then I can go ahead and rinse it all off 
Alrighty, now my face is nicely and washed. I feel like that it is so soft right now. It is so clean as well. So before I go ahead and start off and putting creams, serum, etc., I like to go and pass a ice roller on my face. Now the ice roller for me is something that I normally like to use mainly more in the morning um, just because it's just like a fresh coldness on the face and it really really wakes me up but I'm trying my best to kind of use it day and night right now just because it's better for the face and it also helps lift the face as well I will link this roller right here in the description box down below uh, when I shared this on my Instagram page FYI on my Instagram page I have a story application on my page is all about skin and the products and the tools that i use on there as well if you guys are curious you can go ahead and check it out and also if you follow me on instagram it would really mean a lot to me so when i shared this on my instagram page and a lot of my friend commented and said how did you get the pink one where did you get the pink one from i have the ugly green purple one and i don't really like it so mine is like the full-on pink on pink one i'll try to share this for you guys in the description of the box down below i'll try to find you guys the the pink one which i which i really like for me aesthetically it just makes me really really happy to see uh the pink one and i'm not really a big fan of green so i like to just roll it on my face i just go really really gentle and it's quite cold and it feels so good and i love it this is like the perfect um, if your face is a bit like, um, I don't know, like sometimes it's like swollen and you want to depuff it. If it's puffy a little bit, then this one helps to depuff the skin, that's for sure. So I like to roll it like that. Um, not so much like this, even though I was doing that, it's just because I really <laughs> like the feeling. But I normally just use it upwards like that and I go all around. Also, a lot of people use it on their neck too to kind of like depuff the neck. And I like to use it right under my chin right here and push it down. It feels really, really good, you guys. I'm not even lying. This is like the best thing ever. If you're doing like an intensive skincare and you're using hot tools or anything like that, you know, like the vapor, the scrubber, these things could be a little bit too much on the skin and you just want to calm the skin down then this roller is like the best thing you can do i wish i can sleep and have somebody roll this on my face not so much on my body but just on my face <laughs> i don't do so well with cold so but this feels this feels really good so i like to do this for a couple of maybe two to three minutes they're all depending on how i feel all right now on to skincare recently i've been obsessed with um some of the charlotte tilbury products that i have right here which is what i'm going to be using so i have a couple of things i also have a sample of the magic night cream which i am so obsessed with this stuff i like to use my lactic acid 10 percent from the ordinary the reason why i like this because i feel like it helps with my pimples blackheads etc so i put a little bit on my hand right here and i like to warm it up like this and then i go ahead and i pat it on my skin i don't really rub it in so aggressively so i just kind of like pat it on and i let it set until it's completely dried onto my face and absorbed it does have like a sticky you guys could see like it does have that sticky finish to it which I kind of really really like because this is gonna really help kind of like a primer if like your face primer does the same thing you know like your makeup's gonna stick on very well so for me this is kind of like a primer before I start off with all my creams and everything I just feel like it helps it kind of like absorb and stick onto my face a little bit more so after that is on I like to take my magic cream this is the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and I'm almost done from this but oh my god I'm so obsessed with this stuff It's so good I take a little bit on my hand and I kind of put it all over this is great if you have dry skin and I kind of go in and massage it into our skin
Then I take, this is the new Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. And I like to grab a little bit of that and add three drops. Warm it around with my fingers. And then this, I'm gonna go in and pat it in. Mmm, it smells so good. Love this product, it smells amazing. Look at the glow that this gives. I love it. So while that is setting in and absorbing into my skin, I like to move on to my lip mask. And this is from Laneige. And this is the Lip Sleeping Mask. And this is in Vanilla, which is my favorite one. I take on my nail here, since my nails are long, I don't want to like have products under my nails. So I take it with the surface of my nail. I just apply a generous amount of that because my lips has been so dry, even though I've been drinking so much water. So this is the perfect lip mask, and I've been obsessed with it. It's such a good lip mask. Now I like to go ahead and do my under eye. I use the, this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the, this is the Recovery Eye Serum, which I really like, and this eyes appear deep puffed, plus brightened with eyes awake, plus caffeine complex and I love this one so much because it has this applicator and I know a lot of people normally pop this in the fridge just to keep like the applicator pretty cold but I, I do, well I used to before my little skincare fridge breaks down on me which it did break I have one right here so I had to empty all of this stuff. This right here, it is my facial fridge that I had and I love it so much but it just broke and it just really sucks so i need to get myself a new one i just really like this one a lot because it looks nice and vintage and you guys could see here my skincare tower too yeah so that is the little clip here that i showed you where i keep all my skincare stuff and my fridge i love this fridge so much um this actually has bluetooth that i can connect my uh my bluetooth to and that's where i kind of like to put my spa music spa music on when i'm doing my facial but now but now i can't do that no more because it broke i also added a little bit on my lid because i like to kind of do the whole eye area now i like to use my the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum my brows have been growing you guys this product I think it's because of this product. I mean, I've been using it since I got it every time before I go to sleep, which I am planning on going to sleep right after this video. This works, this really, really works. I don't really put it on my lashes to be honest because my lashes are naturally nice and long. Maybe you can give it a try and see. I mean, for $15, why not? Give it a try and see if it works. I've been using this night cream from Charlotte Tilbury. I take a little bit of that and this has kind of like a weird texture it has kind of like a um, like a cream but somewhat like oily because it really helps to moisturize the face if you have dry skin I normally have dry skin around my nose area and also on my nose and I also have dry skin here in the middle of the brows and a little bit telling you guys a little bit goes a long way with this product a long long way and i'm gonna drag it all the way up to the forehead because my forehead is so dry last but not least i'm gonna put here because i tend to get super dry skin here too i'm gonna drag whatever i have left and i drag it upwards Oh my god, I feel like a cow literally licked me and my hair is like <clears throat> right now. Alrighty, you guys, this is my skincare routine. This is for everybody who has been asking me, what is your skincare routine? What do you do? And everything. This is basically kind of like my intensive skincare when I use my, my big baby tools and um, also a little bit of the products that I use. So basically, this is kind of like what I do um, before going to sleep when I want to do my intensive skincare. And also, these are the products that I use every day uh, before going to bed as well. I feel like it really really helps a lot with my skin. If you guys have dry skin, if you guys have acne, pimples, blackheads, everything, 
try these products try the tools everything that i showed you here in this video like i mentioned everything's going to be linked down below for you guys if you guys are interested in any of the tools any of the products everything's going to be listed down there for you guys also if you have any comments or concerns just leave them all in the comments down below and i'll try my best to answer each and one of you guys on that note i want to wish you guys a wonderful night sweet dreams and i love you guys so so much talk to you later bye